living statue is an artist. Is an artist who acts like a statue. I came along the the, uh, the clip of a living statue. It was in Germany, but I watched it on YouTube. <laughs> I went direct and started to search whether do we have living statues in Africa, and the results were zero. I said, now this is it. This is what I'm going to do. So my name is Gato Mwangi. I'm the CEO of African Living Statues and Events. I'm a sales manager. I'm a graduate at Mount Kenya University with a degree in uh, PR, Public uh, Relations major. African Living Statues and Events started back in 2019, in uh, September 23rd, that is after uh, completing my, uh, my university, uh, uh, learning in university. The Living Statue is the act of stillness. Uh, when you, when, you, when you look at a, at a statue, it's not moving, be it a, a male, be it a female. So for me, I wanted now to make, to make it live like something which is real. That's why we call it a living statue. One day, I remember, I, I just uh, logged to YouTube and uh, something interesting came up. The statues are there actually, the living statues are there. Right, right, for example, they're in Germany. So I came, up, I came along the, the, uh, the clip of a living statue. Uh, it was in Germany, but I, I, watch it, uh, I watched it on uh, YouTube. And uh, I was like, okay, this guy is actually real. Do you know what I did? I went direct and started to search whether do we have living statues in Africa? And the results were zero. We don't have living statues in Africa. And I said, now this is it. This is what I'm going to do. So introducing my guys to, to, the, to, the, to the thing, they were like, hey man, are you crazy or something? <laughs> what is this? What are we doing? How are we going to earn with the, this kind of thing? And uh, the rest is, is history, yeah? I like marketing. I like marketing a lot. I like the idea because you see, a marketing is under, it's an industry where it's very open. You need to be creative to be in the marketing uh, industry. So on, uh, I was just looking for uh, an idea about how can we do the marketing? How do these guys do? How do they hold these events? Why do they have all these clients? And uh, I noticed that every company or every agency has a something special that they give to their clients for them to work with them. And for me, I decided, you know what, this is what I will offer to my clients. The first time that we made the we designed the, the, the human statue and uh, we just uh, brought a mirror and we looked at ourselves and we <laughs> you know, it was like, okay, how, how, how are the people going to receive this? You see Kenyans, how they are, you see, they will be like, what is going on here? So it was a bit funny and again entertaining to see yourself, okay, actually, we are like, wow. Well, in the statue, and it's a statue. Actually, we look like a statue, and uh, the reception was so good because uh, uh, we decided to look for a gig, and uh, actually, it didn't uh, even last long uh, before we, we, we get uh, our first gig because we opened our Instagram page and we posted the pictures that we took first, not in any event, just in our workshop so we just posted the pictures and uh, luckily we got a call now the first event was very interesting because even before getting the resources we didn't uh, we didn't knew about the costumes <laughs> about the makeup where to get the makeup actually what we used when we are just trying to the idea it was just a local makeup we just used and uh, uh, tried to create something just to resemble something that we want so, yes, we used uh, some cash for the event. The, uh, the client wanted, uh, we had three, two statues actually. So we had to dress the statue from head to toe according to the client's uh, demands. So we just went to a, a, a local shop just around and we just looked for uh, clothes that can be designed 
uh, to have the paints and everything. So basically, uh, for us to prepare our, uh, that one statue for the, for the first event, uh, I think it was around uh, around three thousand for the for, for one statue for one statue because we have to get everything from head to toe and the the other guys was also around three thousand so basically we just used uh, not more than ten thousand shillings yeah but it's just because it was our first event we didn't knew what to do more what not to do less we just had a statue you know and also the transport we have to come to to town and uh, get a, a car to drive us there yeah so it was not that much for a start i i didn't i mean like go far to look for people i can work with i think the best people and uh, what i actually i can actually advise young guys out there they are trying to do something if you have friends friends who trust in you friends who just believe in you you know they can listen to you you can share with them the idea. Don't just go far. Just use your friends if you trust them. Because for me, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go to look for people who have done this. I just used a friend. Yeah. And right now we are the people working with. Actually, one of our statues are. It's actually even my brother. And these are people who have. We have been with them in the university. And uh, we are still. Uh, going on so well. So uh, with time we have, we have evolved, we have learned, we have done research, especially on makeups and the costumes that we need because you know we are applying makeup, direct makeup, uh, it's very sensitive, it's a skin so you have to now to know do we have, ju do we have to use the, just a makeup or do we have this specific makeup and uh, we actually saw the statues now from like I told you uh, uh, in Germany and we had to to search for the exact makeup and uh, luckily it's found uh, here but not just just not just around you have to order it to come for you to be a statue first of all you have to be physically fit you see <laughs> you have to First of all, you have to be breathing well, you see, because you have, when you are standing and are not moving, not doing anything, you have to be good in, you have to take so much air in and out. And also, the body, yeah, because there is a such who want models. I want, I want ladies, I want these ladies look like models. I want a fashionable statue. You can't just bring anyone. And uh, something interesting is that, the people who approach to work with us, they actually they are like models because they they they, they have actually they 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 think that uh, for us to join the African living statues and to be picked to work with us, you have to look like a model. You can imagine standing for like two hours. There are people around you, taking pictures, asking you questions, asking you, are you getting paid for this? Is this really your work? <laughs> we can give you a better job, <laughs> you know. So you have to be patient. You have to know how to control your emotions because you can't just work with emotions, you see. Uh, sometimes you go to clubs and uh, when we go to clubs, you can, you, you can imagine the, the kind of people interact with them. Someone has just, uh, just come and start like, you know, and attack a kubeba statue and an aisle and uh, <laughs> so you have to you have to control yourself. We have done several themes because themes comes uh, along with the client, what client wants. There is a client uh, will ask you for a, a white statue. Maybe it's because of the wedding. So you have done a wedding uh, theme. That means we have to bring a, a white a white uh, statue. We have done a, a fashion event. So for you to symbolize the fashion in the in that event, you have to bring a, a fashionable statue. We have done a, a, an official uh, event uh, where people just uh, just get into a room and it's it's a corporate meeting for networking. So you have to bring statues that looks like these are bosses. You know they have to wear suits. They have to be just smart, smart guys. Yeah. So those are some of the themes and uh, many more. So apart from being a statue, uh, 
and uh, just to say we are still growing we are still trying to adapt to the to what we are doing right now and uh, we are still expanding and trying to fit in everything so with time we want we want our statues the people who we started with they have learned the they have learned the the, the drill so basically these are people who can actually do now the auditions if we call for us uh, for auditions for our statues these are the people who will do the auditions these are people who will tell you you cannot be a statue you can be a statue i will i will just be honest especially for the for the ladies when uh, they, are, they are they are they are the statues uh, some of the guys actually try even to kiss our statues yeah you and i will be there will be like okay hey hey stop you know you see the guy is drunk and uh, he's very happy to see he has never seen such kind of a uh, a uh, human being. So is you know, take me pictures. I want to can come on and chumki dogo. You see, yeah. So those are some of the crazy things. And other people actually just try even to carry the statue to take him or her to to the group where the group is just for the friends to see. You know, this is something crazy. Yeah. So those are some of the things. And another thing that uh, we find very difficult is uh, you see the clubs. When you're at uh, a club, you can do anything. People are smoking, people are drinking. So again, you find that uh, when the statues are there, there are guys who are just smoking around. And uh, we, we just have to tell them, you know what, don't smoke, just, don't just smoke uh, around the statue. So the, the guy will later realize, oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a real person. Actually, we allow people to talk to our statues because at the end of the day, we have brought the statue because of the audience. The clients called us because of the, of the guests, of the people coming to the event. So at the end of the day, the statue has to interact, uh, to interact with, the, with, the, with the audience because some of the people actually even ask the questions. Is this what you do? For how long have you done this? Are you getting paid for this? Is, this, is, is it just a personal thing you're doing or it's, it's a company? Yeah, so at the end of the day, the guests have to interact with the statue. You know, I love my mom because uh, she is very open. Uh, let me say, she's just like me. Very open-minded, very creative actually. And uh, the only thing that uh, it was, she was finding difficult to, to know is wh wh what are they called? And every time she'll be like, but you know, and I will tell her, they are called, mom, they are called African living statues and events. Oh yes, our oh, statues. So she's very happy, and uh, every time she keep asking me, tomorrow where are you going? Where is the event? And I want to come to one of your events. And uh, luckily, when I was in Naivasha, she attended, and uh, she act uh, she actually stayed with us until past past twelve, that is at night. And uh, yeah, she's very encouraging. And uh, actually, uh, just to go back. Our first event, my mom was the one who who sponsored me for the cash, and I was uh, she was like, "Will you refund this money? How 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 are you going to get paid for this?" And I told her, "Mom, chill." And what I refunded is much more actually to what she gave me, yeah. And also for because our company is uh, it's a registered uh, company or agency, it's registered. So again, when I was registering the 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 agency, my mom was the one who did that, and I told her, you know what, uh, we want to register now the, the name, our, our brand name, and uh, yeah, she was there. I had a, a very, a very, a, a very funny challenge at in the in the bank when I was registering now the business uh, to have an account uh, for that, so that when the clients pay, they just deposit the amount to all the checks to the. To the bank and uh, the guy who, who was uh, helping to register at uh, the bank was like okay <laughs> live around the african the african and events what about the living what are you registering <laughs> you see it's a very sensitive word and i was like I, I was like you know these are if i try to explain to you right now i don't think you'll understand that. let me just uh, let me just show you the videos and he was like so these are the people you are registering to the bank <laughs> and i was like yes why? Because they get paid, and for me to pay them, I have to have their account. And uh, actually, I, even today, that guy still remembers me. And I was, every time when I go there, he's like, "You're the guy for the living. 
Yes. And uh, also for the for the registering the company, it was not a bit uh, hard because uh, we did I, I we just did it online. You see, nowadays things are very easy, so we just did it uh, the online. So it, it was just easy. But for the uh, for the bank was a <laughs> was a bit fun and uh, and and uh, challenging too. For you to hire our statue, first of all, we have to know the number of hours or the how many hours we are going to work because see this is a person who is coming to stand so maximum we do our event for three hours maximum three hours so you have if you maybe you, are, you want to do the event for nine hours let me say nine hours so you have to you have to pay each three hours each three hours each three hours so uh roughly uh it depends let me say let me let me not uh, specify in terms of price because it depends with the client that we are working with we have corporate clients we have individuals we have and we, we have private events so it it, it 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 also depends with the kind of a statue that you want because we are you we might maybe hire a statue let's say 40,000 one statue but whatever you are asking for me to bring you it's very costly you see, like for example, let me just, uh, just use an example. Like for example, a client will tell me, you know what, I want a statue oh, who looks like an angel. And you know how an angel looks, uh, looks like. Uh, she needs to have some feathers, <laughs> some maybe white gowns. You have to have white makeup and everything. So this is costly. So it depends with what the client wants actually. Yeah and uh, how many days how many hours from there we did uh, we did uh, dictate the the price now so insecurities are there of course for the brand which is growing and unique and alone in the market and uh, we are uh, we are very sure very soon if not soon just one time we'll just wake up and find we have a competitor and our uh, full competition is good because competition helps you to grow a healthy competition if i see a, someone who is trying to do whatever i'm doing i'll make my people more better because we want to own the brand we want to we want people to know <coughs> that we we apart from this these are the african ladies statues and events and now we have this before the client going to the competitor he or she has to pass through us and uh maybe even when you go to an event you'll be asked are you the African Women's Statues and Events? <laughs> you see, so that is the insecurity that, uh, but I, let me say it's not that insecurity because competition is good. For me, I believe in competition. I like challenges. I like to be challenged.